एवरीवन वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ एल माय नेम इज रवि प्रकाश एंड हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ स्पेशल सेट ऑन द पजल्स ऑफ कॉइंस ओके गेम ऑफ कॉइंस इट कुड बी गेम ऑफ कॉइंस गेम ऑफ स्टिक्स एंड ऑल राइट इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सेट एंड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट विच विल विच विल टेक यू अप इन एल राइट इट स्टार्ट इट विल मेक यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग इन एल आर डी वी रिक्वायर राइट वी रिक्वायर मोर ऑफ थिंकिंग इन एल ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सेट विल सेट यू अप फॉर द होल एल राइट Let's understand this set here. The set is A and B are playing. A and B are playing a game of coins in which A and B have to pick any number of coins from one to six, right? From one to six alternately, and person picking up the last coin will lose the game. Okay. So understand this set here. On a table, on a table there are n number of coins, right? Number of coins is not known. Okay. So now on a table, on a table there are n number of coins. On a table there are n number of coins. Right, n number of coins, and suppose I and you are sitting on the opposite side of the table. We are named A and B. Okay, so we can pick any number of of coins from one to six on the table, right? So let's say there are hundred coins or there are two hundred coins coins on the table. That doesn't doesn't matter, right? So in your chance, you can pick any number of coins in between one to six. One to six, right? That means you can pick one, you can pick pick two. You can pick three or four or five or six, maximum six. Okay, and I can also pick any number of coins in my chance. One, two, three, four, five or six. Right. So let's say you pick first one coin, then I can pick five coins. Let's say if you pick three coins, I pick six coins. You pick you pick two coins, I'll pick four coins. Right. So it's our wish, right? But the situation is the person picking up the last coin will finish lose the game. Okay. That means whoever finishes the table. Okay. it basically means that whoever finishes the table right whoever finishes the table will lose the game finishes the table will lose the game this is the condition here right so it doesn't like you'll never finish the table because it's alternate chance no so at some point there will there will be one coin left on the table which you have to pick right and then you will lose the game okay so if there are n number of coins on the table so let's start okay so how to think now how to think basically this is very important right how to start thinking initially so if there are 63 coins on the on the table at a stage how many coins a should pick assuming it is chance of 8 to ensure his win right so can you tell right is the question feasible can you tell that if there are 63 coins on the, on the table and i and you are alternately picking picking the coins numbered from 1 to 6 right any number of coin from 1 to 6 i can pick or you can pick so can we tell that by picking a certain number when 63 coins are there on the table i can predict the last chance that i can win the game right this is a question so is it possible we'll see it is possible or not so how to start thinking is basically see i'll start thinking like this suppose whoever chance it is right whoever chance it is right i'm thinking in that perspective so suppose it is chance right and going with the chance of the person right whoever chance it is i'm going by the chance of the person okay So let's say right now is chance of me. Mine chance is there, right? And if we start thinking from, we can't think from sixty three coin, right? Get this thing before we can't start from sixty three coins. Why we can't start? Because if there are sixty three coins on the table, if I pick one coin, I can pick one to six any number of coins. There'll be six cases. Then you can pick any number of coins from one to six. There'll be another six cases. Then again, again, I can pick any number from one to six, right? So in first chance only, when I can pick one to six and you can pick one to six, we can make thirty six different cases of picking coins. That is not feasible, right? Thirty six different cases in first chance not possible, right? With that, that means that is something wrong we are doing. That is not the correct way of thinking, right? To find a pattern, so if we can't start from last, if I, if I can't start from sixty three, I'll start from the one, right? The next end I'll start, right? So like suppose. Whoever chance it is, right? What he want? Will he want that one coin will be left on the table? Does he want that one coin will be left on the table, right? So you think because his chance is there, and a person picking up the last coin, person picking up the last coin will lose the game. That means that means he doesn't want that his chance be, will be at last. That means that person who is playing the last, uh, who is picking the last coin, right? You doesn't want to be that person who is picking the last coin. So if my chance is there, will I want that one coin will be left on the table? No, I will not want, right? Now if my chance is there, 
will I want that two coins will be left on the table? Yes, I would want that because if two coins are on the table, that means I can pick one coin and then definitely because our chances are alternately my, your chance after my chance. So if there are two coins on the table, if one coin I pick, right? So last coin you have to pick, right? And you will lose the game. So definitely two coins. Do I want, if my chance is there, do I want two coins to be on the table? Yes, I want. Okay. Will I want three coins to be on the table? Yes, because again, if three coins are there, so again, I can pick two and last you will pick, right? So if I'll pick two, last you will pick. Okay. Now don't think that three coins are on the table. So I'll pick one. Okay. So the games are right. It's not given here, but this in this kind of questions, right? You have to assume that both the players are playing intelli intelligently because there's no point of, there's no uh, limit of making foolishness, foolishness, right? Right. Because if there are three coins on the table, I know that by picking two coins, I can win the game because last coin you have to pick. But if there are three coins on the table, I'll pick one coin. That's my foolishness, right? Then you will pick the one coin and then the last coin is there for me to pick. So I, I will lose the game, right? But otherwise, if I could have picked two coins, I would have won the game. Okay. So you have to always assume that both the players are playing intelligently, right? So will I want three coins to be on the table? Yes, I would want. Okay. So till what number? Obviously till, till seven because I can pick six at a time. I can pick six at a time. So till seven, right? Four, five, six, seven. All these numbers I would want because if there are seven coins also on the table, I can pick six coins at a time and the last coin you will have to pick and the last coin you will have to pick. Okay, fine. Fine. So these are, these are my, these are my favorable numbers. Okay. I want two coins. I want three coins. I want till seven coins to be on the table because I can pick any number from one to six and the last coin will be left for you. Now after seven, after seven, will I want eight coins to be on the table? Will I want eight coins to be on the table? No, I would not want, right? Why would, why would I not want? If my chance is there, will I want eight coins on the, onto the table? No, because if eight coins are on the table, now again, this number is out of my reach because if there are eight coins on the table, okay, listen very carefully. If there are eight coins on the table, even if I pick six, then two are left. Okay. So you will pick the one and the last one I have to pick, right? So in that case, I will lose the game. Okay. If there are eight coins, even if I pick one, so seven are left. And I, we have seen that if seven coins are in are on the table, okay, whosever chance it is will win the game because I will, if I have, I'm left with eight coins, so I have to pick at least one coin. Even if I pick one coin, you'll be left with seven coins. And even if I, if I, even if I pick six coins, you'll be left with two coins in both the cases, you will win the game, right? Whosever chance, chance it is in, in between any number from two to seven, right? He will win the game because if there are seven coins, you will pick the six coins and the last coin I will pick. So I lose the game, right? So that's why eight is again a losing number for me. Eight is again a losing number for me, right? From if eight coins are on the table and if both the players are playing it intelligently, right? This intelligently will never be given in cat, right? You see, you think, right? How bad it will look. It, will, it, it is written that both the players are intelligent. It won't be given like that, right? No way. So you have to assume that both the players are intelligent. Both the players are intelligent, right? So if there are eight coins on the table, if there are eight coins on the table, if it is my chance, I will always lose the game. Even if I understand it, even if I pick one, then seven are left, you will pick six, right? And the last one is left for me. And if there are eight coins on table, even if I pick six, now two are left. So one you will pick. So last one is again left for me. I'll lose the game. So eight is the, eight is the, eight is not a favorable number for me, right? I'll always lose the game. Now again, nine. So I, both the players know that one and eight are the losing numbers. Whosever chance it is. And if one coin or eight coin are left on the table, he or she will lose the game, right? Whosever chance it is, right? If nine coins are on, are on the table, will I favor it? Yes, I'll favor it, right? Just understand the beauty of this set, right? And ap appreciate the thinking process, right? That is the most important thing, right? That how to think in a LRDI set, in a new LRDI set, how to think, right? We have started today and we'll be doing more than hundreds of sets in LRDI, right? That's my promise to you. But you have to start thinking slowly, 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 right? Thinking in correct direction. So just look at the way I'm, ma I'm making you think, right? And if you'll follow my first 10 sets, then obviously you will become a good person to solve LRDI set. Okay. So understand it. So 
will i want nine if if it is my chance will i want nine coins to be on the table yes i would want why because now i can bring uh, now i can pick one coin and i can bring the game to eight and i know that whosever chance it is at eight coins he or she will always lose the game okay he or she will always lose. at eight coins if it is your chance just think right at eight coins if it is your chance you can't win the game right so at eight coins who will whosever chance it is will lose the game okay so if it is nine coins it is fair, favorable for me because because i can bring the game down to eight for you okay so when i can i bring the game down for eight for you because i can pick any number from one to six okay so nine plus six is fifteen so nine plus six is fifteen right so till fifteen is again is a good number for me because again if sorry 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 eight plus six is fourteen eight plus six is fourteen so again, fourteen is a good number for me, right? Because till fourteen, I can bring the game down to eight for you, right? Till fourteen, I can bring the game down to eight for you. Because if there are eight coins left on the table, you'll always lose the game. So why am why I'll favor this number fourteen here? Because if there are fourteen coins on the table, even if I take six coins at a time, okay? If I can pick maximum six, right? Even if I pick six coins at a time, I'll I'll bring the game down to eight. Now it is eight coins on the table. It is your chance. You will always lose the game. Okay. So similarly, which number after fourteen is out of reach for me? Fifteen. Fifteen is again not a favorable number for me. So if it is my chance, and if there are fifteen coins on the table, I'll always lose the game. Why I will always lose the game? Because why I will always lose the game? Because if there are fifteen coins, now you can bring the game to eight for me. I can't bring the game the eight for. I can't bring the game at eight for you. You can bring the game at eight for me because if there are fifteen coins and it is my chance, if I pick one, fourteen is left. You will pick six. Now at eight, it is my chance. I lose the game, right? At fifteen, if I pick three, you are left with twelve. You will pick four and will again bring the game at eight for me, right? And I know that whoever is at number eight, whoever has eight coins in front of him, and his chance it is. He or she will lose the game, right? We have discussed it. So again, fifteen is that losing number. This is the concept behind this set, right? Or those whosoever chance it is, right? I should write here, whosoever chance it is. Let me write it here, whosoever chance it is, whosoever chance it is. He or she will lose the game, lose the game when, when there are. When there are one coins or eight coins or fifteen coins, numbers like this left on the table, left on table, right? That means one eight fifteen. All these are losing numbers for me. One eight fifteen. All these are losing numbers for me, right? So what is this number? I can write the number in general form. Yeah, one. Numbers like one eight fifteen. Okay, numbers like one eight fifteen. So what are the losing numbers? Losing numbers for me are one eight fifteen. In that series, what twenty two, twenty nine, like that. Okay, and so on. Okay. So what is the series? Gap of seven. Gap of seven. So I can write seven k. Okay, gap of seven. We have discussed so many times this in quant, right? How to write a series? One eight fifteen and all, right? So gap of seven. So seven k is starting from one. So plus one. Right, that means the series series is of seven k plus one. So all these seven k plus one are losing numbers for me. All these numbers of the form seven k plus one are losing numbers for me. Correct. All the numbers of the form seven k plus one are losing numbers for me. Okay. So now, if there are sixty three coins, look at the question one now. If there are sixty three coins on the table at a stage, then how many coins should A pick? Assuming it is a chance of eight to ensure his win, right? So I know that all these seven k plus one numbers are losing numbers, right? So I'll just check a number of the form seven k plus one just before sixty three, a number of the form seven k plus one just before sixty three, right? Like in this series, which number will come before sixty three? You can see it, right? Like starting from one, eight, fifteen, twenty two, twenty nine, thirty six, forty three, fifty, fifty seven, sixty four, right? So fifty seven is the number. Just before, just before sixty three, which is which is of the which is of the form seven k plus one, right? No, don't no need to get this much, right? Direct, you can directly do it, 
at k equal to nine, it becomes sixty four. Seven into nine plus one sixty four. At k equal to eight, seven into eight plus one fifty seven. So okay, there are fifty seven coins, right? There are fifty seven coins. If you bring the game down to fifty seven for the for people whose ever chance it is, right? He will lose the game. So if it is my chance, so I can bring the down. Uh, I can bring the game down to fifty seven. I can bring the game down to fifty seven by picking how many coins? There are sixty three coins now. So I can pick six coins. I can pick six coins. I can pick six coins, right? So I will always win the game because fifty seven is a losing number. All the numbers of the form seven k plus one are losing numbers, right? So fifty seven is a losing number. Okay. So very important funda. I hope you got it. Okay. I hope you got it right. So this is very very important funda. Okay. Now next question. Next question. See this question two here. If there are fifty coins on the table. How many coins B should pick to ensure his win? Okay, so now I'm supposing that it is chance of B. It is chance of B. Okay, now it is chance of B. So if there are fifty coins on the table. How many coins B should pick to ensure his win? Again, so I know that all the losing numbers are are of the form seven k plus one. All the losing numbers are of the form seven k plus one, right? So a number of the form seven k plus one just before fifty. You can see, you can observe by. Putting k equal to seven, right? Fifty. You can see fifty here, right? You can see fifty here. In this seven k plus one series, it's an infinite series, right? You can see fifty here. That means fifty is a number of the form seven k plus one, and all the numbers of the form seven k plus one are one are what losing numbers for whosoever chance it is at that time. So that means if there are fifty coins on the table, how many coins B should pick to ensure his win? So there are fifty coins on the table. And it is B's chance, so B can never win. It's a fifty coins and losing number, right? So what is the answer? The answer, the answer for this question: B can never win. B can never win. B can never win this game, correct? So I hope it is clear, right? Very very important point. I hope it is clear. Okay. So let's see for third question. Third question: If there are hundred and six coins on the table. How many coins B should pick to ensure his win? Now there are hundred and six coins on the table, right? How many coins B should pick to ensure his win? So again, a number just just before hundred and six will be a losing number, right? Of the form seven k plus one, you can just approximate here. Around k equal to fourteen will give me ninety eight plus one ninety nine. K equal to fifteen, right? So around k in this series, by putting k equal to fifteen, I'll reach closer to one zero six. If I put k equal to fifteen here, at k equal to fifteen. Seven into fifteen plus one, it becomes one zero six. It becomes one zero six, right? So if there are one zero six coins on the table at a stage, and again it is chance of B, how many coins should B how how many coins should B pick to ensure his win? Ensure his win, right? Unfortunately, sorry, B should pick to ensure his it is win here, not the uh, win. Let's change the data here. It is win. Typing mistake here. Is win. To ensure his win, okay. So, uh, what's the answer uh, for this question? So, if there are hundred six coins on the table at a stage, how many coins should be picked to ensure his win? Unfortunately, hundred and six is the number of the form seven k plus one. It is a losing number. It is a losing number, right? That means B again can never win. B again can never win. Right? B can never win. Okay. I hope it is clear. All this concept fine. Okay. Now let's move to question number four. Let's move to question number four and an important question. Okay. See now, A and B are playing a game of coins. This is a set. Earlier was set. This was set. Okay. But it is given that if in another game, this is question number four. If in another game, the person picking the last coin wins the game, then how many coins A? How many coins A should pick to ensure his win? If there are sixty coins on the table. At a stage, so if in another game the person picking the last coin wins the game, okay, person picking the last coin wins the game. Very important now. So now the whole scenario change, right? Person picking the last coin has wins won the game, okay. So person picking the last coin has won the game. Person picking the last coin wins the game, right? Slight change. Now again we'll make a different pattern, right? We'll make a different pattern for it. So see, whosoever chance again same thing, whosoever chance it is. Whosoever chance it is, right? What would he want? 
will he want one coin to be on the table? Let's start from one, right? Will he want one coin to the, to the, on the table? Yes, he wants because, right? Because if it is one coin on the table, he'll pick all the, uh, he'll pick one coin and he'll win the game because person in this question now, person picking the last coin wins the game. So he picks the one coin, he wins the game. That's it, right? Will he want, he, will, he, will he want two coin to be on the table? Yes, because he can pick any number from one to six. Okay, so if there are two coins also, he'll pick both the coins. Okay, and in that case, he's picking the last coin to win the game, right? So if he's picking both the coins, he'll finish in the table. So who uh, whoever finishes the table will win the game because if there are two coins on the table, he can pick the last coin and finish the table. So he will win the game. So that means till what point he can win the game? Till obviously till six coins, right? He will, whosever chance it is, will favor six coins to be on the table. Will favor six coins on, on the table, right? Whosever chance it is, he will favor six coins on the table because till six coins, he can pick all the six coins. So last coin will be his only, he'll be winning the game, right? Again, seven is a number which he won't want. Seven is a number which he don't want because if there are seven coins on the, on the table, he can never win the game because if he picks one, the other guy will pick all the six. If he picks two, right? If there are seven coins on, on the table, if he picks two, the five are left. The other guy will pick all the five because for him also, he can pick any number from one to six, right? So that means seven is a losing number. Okay. Again, will I want eight coins to be on the table? Whosever chance it is, suppose, suppose it is my chance. Will I want eight coins to be on the table? Yes, I would want eight coins because now I can bring the number, bring the game down to seven for you because I know that seven is a losing number. If it is seven and if it is your chance, you will always lose the game, right? Think about it. If it is seven and if it is your chance, you will always lose the game because if you pick one, the other guy will pick all the six coins, okay? So he'll always, always lose the game if there are eight coins. If there are nine coins, yes, again, I'll prefer because I can bring the game to seven. So till what point I'll prefer? Till 14, sorry, till 13. Because till 13, I can pick six coins I can and I can bring the game down to seven coins for you. And I know that whosoever chance it is, if it is seven coins on the, on the table, he will lose the game. So till 13 coins, game is in my table, game is in my favor. I can pick six coins and I can, I can bring the game to seven for you. Again, 14 is not a favorable number for me because if it is 14 coins on the, on the table, right? So I know that if I pick one, there'll be 13 coins. And if there are 13 coins, you will win the game because you can then you will, you will bring the game at seven for me, right? So all this ticked are what? Whatever chance it is, at all the numbers which I've ticked, will always win the game, right? At all the numbers, you will win the game. So if it is my chance, and if there are 14 coins on the, on the table, I'll always lose the game, right? This goes on, this goes on. So see all the numbers which are, which are the form. So since it is seven here, right? Since it is seven here, seven and 14, seven and 14, right? So seven and 14 means all the numbers of the form seven Q. What are the losing numbers? So losing numbers here are losing numbers. Here are all the numbers of the form seven K. Now a very important point to mark, right? In the last case, in the last, in the last case, in question one, two, three, when the person picking the last coin, we had, uh, had, uh, was losing the game. In that case, in that case, the final answer was what? All the losing numbers are seven K plus one. Why seven K plus one? Because one to six, you could pick six plus one, seven. That's it, right? Here, why seven K? Because again, because you can pick one to six. So seven K. If you could one to five, then six K. If you, if you could pick one to four, then five K just one more than that, right? Because you can sense it back. If it is one to four, then five is out of your range. If it is one to six, like seven is out of your range, out of your range means whosoever chance it is. Okay. So losing numbers are of the form seven K here. So what is the fourth question here? See, if in another game, the person picking the last coin wins the game, then how many coins A should pick to ensure his win if there are 60 coins on the table at a state? So losing number of the form 7K just before 60, right? So around K, you can approximate, you'll get around K equal to 8. So for K equal to 8, losing number just before 60 is what? 56. 56 coins is a losing number, okay? So if there are 60 coins, so A should bring the game for to 56 by picking how many coins? 4 coins. So answer, what is the answer? Answer is four coins. If A picks four coins, he will definitely win the game. If A picks four coins, he will definitely win the game. Correct.
so got this funda here right 1 to 6 means 7k and there 1 to 6 means 7k plus 1 losing numbers there 1 to 6 7k plus 1 here with losing numbers 7k here losing numbers 7k right so quick get this funda in mind if it is 1 to 4 right if it is 1 to 4 right if i put 4 here instead of 3 sorry instead of 6 if i say that you can only put 1 to if you can only pick 1 to 4 coins okay then blindly you can do if there are 1 to 4 coins if there are 1 to 4 coins you can pick right so all the losing numbers will be what in this case it will be of the form what it will be of the form 5k like here's 1 to 6 for 7k 1 to 4 for 5k okay if it is 1 to 3 then 4k that's it okay so this was a whole concept behind this lr uh, coin puzzles right lrd is just coin puzzles very important it is okay and uh, good set to good uh, go uh, start thinking okay i hope you enjoyed it we'll continue lrd in the next video thank you